welcome back to the History of Football channel. Today there's going to be another match day vlog on the channel and this time we're at Gateshead against Oxford City. Gateshead are currently sat six on the table at the moment. They've won five of their last six matches and as for Oxford City, they're bottom of the National League. This is their first ever season in the National League. They're one of the smallest clubs in the division so they're always going to do it tough. As for Gateshead though, they've got a real chance of getting promoted to the Football League this year so I'm only heading off to Gateshead now, it's about an hour away. Never been to this stadium before, so excited for that, but stay tuned for the rest oh, of the So I just arrived in the Hiworth Interchange, uh, which is about maybe 10 minutes away from Gateshead. Gee, these bus rides, they take a lot longer than what I remember. Uh, been a while since I've caught the X10, but um, yeah, just going to be making my way up to Gateshead in the National Stadium now. And just over there is the Gateshead International Stadium. Just through them trees, you can see a couple of floodlights and there's the main entrance, so let's go on over. So we just arrived at the Gateshead International Stadium, we only took about a 15-20 minute walk from the bus stop there. Uh, with predictions for the match today, I'm going to be quite conservative, I'll go Gates had to win three now over Oxford City. I think if they're dead serious about promotion this year, then they have to uh, beat these. So I'm going to go for Gates had to win three now. Now this stadium itself, it was constructed in 1955, and it's been the host of a few clubs, including the original Gates Head Football Club. I did a video about their old ground, Red Youth Park. If you haven't already seen that, go and check it out. And this ground's also hosted Rugby League as well. I'm a Rugby League supporter, big fan of Rugby League. And this was the original home of the very first Gateshead Thunder in 1999. So uh, not only is it hosted football and athletics, it's also hosted Rugby League.
just got back home after the match between Gateshead and Oxford City. It's finished Gateshead 4, Oxford City 0. A very dominant display by Gateshead today. It's probably what you'd expect with where Oxford City are on the table. They come in bottom of the National League at present. Gateshead were always on top in this match and once after that red card happened for Oxford City that were pretty much game over for them. I think they're already up against it being 1-0 down and after the red card that were pretty much it for them. There was over a thousand people in attendance today which I think for National League is pretty good and there was I think 37 Oxford City supporters that made their way up to Gateshead so um, well done to them. I mean it's going to be a long drive home but Hopefully they enjoyed their time in Gateshead today. Um, with the stadium itself, first time I've ever been there, uh, there are a few issues with it. it. It does need a refurbishment. I do understand that Gateshead probably don't have the funds to refurbish the stadium. Um, I read somewhere that it's going to cost about £4 million, maybe more, just, just to refurbish it to get it up to, to standard. But um, yeah, it's a bit of an old, tired looking stadium. Also, it was a bit weird that they closed off all the other stands and they made everyone sit on the one main stand. And as a result, it made things very hard if you wanted to get something to eat or drink because they only had one kiosk open in that entire stand. So there was a line going for God knows how long. And as a result, I, when I saw the line, I went, I'm not going to bother getting anything because I'm going to be stood here forever. So that were a bit disappointing. And also the fact with the, with the merchandise, they didn't have a lot of merchandise because recently I've, I've been trying to do this thing where I go to every ground and I, I get a scarf and I went there today and they had no scarves and pretty much all they had was just the home and away kits, they had tons of them and they also had their uh, little pins so I managed to get myself a Gateshead pin, I'll probably have to come back some other time and get a scarf but it was a bit disappointing that, especially because that, they were in the National League they didn't have so much merchandise, uh, I mean com compare them to Darlington who were division lower they had way more stuff or even Stockton Town when I went to them they had more stuff as well but um, overall it was a good day out a uh, good win the gates had when I come back to this stadium in the future um, probably not unless I got a car because getting there by public transport isn't the easiest thing yes you do get dropped off sort of near where the stadium is but it is a bit of a canny walk to actually get to the ground if you don't have um, a car or you don't get an Uber or anything like that. I think it's about 25 minutes. But overall, I mean, I enjoyed myself today. I hope you enjoyed watching the vlog and thanks to everyone that's been recently tuning in the videos. I've recently got to 2,000 subscribers. So thanks to everyone that's subscribed from the start of the channel and has continued to follow me now. So anyways, this has been History of Football and I'll catch you all later in the next one. Ta-ra.